And we'll go through a video log I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly uh, bring you up to speed on some of the things that happened in my life. I haven't talked uh, probably since Christmas because I've been kind of on holidays, you know, kind of taking it easy for now. But my Christmas was good. I got lots of money and that's, that's about it. Just, just money. And... Uh, uh, I don't know, I've been kind of dealing with some some things, someone threw a uh, rock through my car windshield, so that's kind of been stressing me out, but I think it's going to be okay. Um, me, my parents helped me deal with it, so it's alright. I'm also going to start working on, my dad is paying me to make a video for his company, so I'm going to start working on that. And um, you can see that yesterday I started... Uh, my new Russian Let's Play, so we are soldiering forward. I also have some other things I'd like to do. If someone can suggest to me a method to record from my desktop, um, I'd like to do a tutorial for how to how to mod uh, Empire Total War. I did one earlier, but the recording tool I used was just atrocious. It was just some crappy shareware thing that I found on the internet, and it, it just didn't do the trick. So if anyone can give me some give me a suggestion for a cool uh, program that I can use to record off my desktop I can easily whip up a tutorial to help you mod Empire Total War but that's not what I want to talk about right now what I want to talk about is that by the time you see this um, Tropico 3 uh, the campaign will have ended well it will be done and um, I'm gonna come up with a bunch of things to fill the void and one of the things I actually propose in Let's Play is just more Tropico, doing some of the campaign missions and uh, just continuing with that Let's Play. But I've also been snooping around my, since I'm back home from the holidays, I'm snooping around my room, pulling out some old games and just uh, looking through ones that might make cool Let's Plays. So, let's start with the first one I found here. Um, I don't know if you can see that, it's, the lighting is pretty bad, but this is uh, Dawn of War, Dark Crusade. I was a hu I'm a huge, huge fan of the first Dawn of War. Not so much for the second one. I love the uh, love. Um, this is my favorite expansion. This because uh, it brought the cool sort of uh, territorial based campaign map with uh, with uh, seven different races. I think it was seven. Yeah, it was seven by that time. Seven different races. And if I were to do this one, I'd uh, go in as either either the Imperial Guard because they're e they're clearly supposed to be mock Russian, or the Tau, who are easily supposed to be mock. Japanese, and I think their mission is highly hypocritical, because they're supposed to be fighting for the greater good, but, I mean, I'm pretty sure most of those races think they're fighting for some noble cause, but really they're just killing people. But uh, let's not get into the psychological um, basis of Dawn of War, because I'm pretty sure that's a pretty feeble argument. Another one here, at uh, the movies, which is another sort of simulation, but it's a simulation of um, a Hollywood studio. It's a really quirky game and uh, you kind of create your own videos and hire actors and directors and kind of build sort of a, a, a video lot. Really quirky game. A lot of fun. Kind of difficult though. So I thought I'd throw this one out there on the table. I'm just kind of throwing ideas at you guys to see what you guys might want to see, what you might like. Here's another one I found. The Witcher. A uh, cool RPG. Um, really interesting storyline, made by a Polish company, and uh, really sort of bloody, gritty um, RPG. Really cool. Um, I don't think I like it quite as much as, say, Dragon Age. So maybe if I were to do an RPG, I'd probably do Dragon Age over this one. But this is still a cool, very cool game. Thought I'd put there on the table. Coming up again here, Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms. I thought I'd throw this one out here as well, because I really liked one campaign and that is the British campaign. So if I were to do this one, I'd do a campaign as the English and go around exterminating the Scots and Welsh and Irish and all those other peasley nations as uh, 
Edward Longshanks, who's one of my favorite all-time historical figures. So, also while we're on, uh, you'll notice there's a pretty big relic trend here. Um, here is Company of Heroes, both the original and the expansion pack. So I thought I'd propose the Company of Heroes as a campaign as, as sort of a let's play. Not much to say about that game that hasn't already been said. Also, I thought I'd bring pull out Civilization Beyond the Sword, which has a really cool mod. It's a World War II mod uh, that's a lot of fun, really well done. So I thought I'd, I'd propose uh, I'd propose that at you, not the actual like the, the kind of you know traditional Civilization, but that the uh, the World War II mod. I can't remember what it's called, but it's really cool, really interesting. All right, up here is another relic game, but I'm pretty sure most of you haven't heard about this one. This one's called Whole World 2, and it was one of their first games. And it's um, sort of a space combat game where you kind of build a fleet and you go out and fight other fleets. And I really like that. I find that really kind of sort of fascinating and really sort of awesome. I just really enjoy uh, space fleet combat. So, um, I'm, you know, this is a really hard game. I played it before. I actually borrowed this from, if you, you probably know him from my survival videos and whatnot, uh, Lucky. I borrowed this from Lucky and I tried to play it. It was really hard but still a really cool game, something I think should be thrown out there. And another really hard game, Stalker, Shadow of, Shadow of Chernobyl. also thought I'd throw out Stalker. I'm not too big on doing a Let's Play in this one, but I just thought I'd like throw it out there, see what you guys think. And another one that I don't actually have the box for is uh, Empire, I'm oh, sorry, Star Wars Empire at War, which I have torrented recently and been playing a little bit, and this is another um, it's both ground and, and space combat, and it's like a Star Wars RTS. And um, the space combat is really awesome. I really love the space combat. Not so much, not so big on the actual ground combat, but uh, there's also sort of a. It's called Galactic Conquest, where you have a whole bunch of planets, and you kind of build up a galactic economy and build up your fleets and armies and go out and take over other planets as either the Empire or the Rebels or this sort of uh, made up faction called like the. Zan, Consor Zan Consortium, which is like like these uh, crime lords, these sort of mafia guy that built up this army. So there are just some of some games I'm throwing at you that throwing out that you guys might want to see as let's plays, and I think would be pretty cool to do as let's plays. So let me know what you think in the comments if you like the idea of any of those games, or you know if you just want to continue with Tropico. Please let me know because, like I said, Tropico is over. So let's try and find something that we can fill it in. Or just keep doing with Tropical. Keep going on, sorry, keep going on with Tropical. Well, for now, this is Joseph Feast Runovich Salmon signing off, and I'll see you guys later.